No, I moved it. <laughs> this thing is gonna squeak and it annoys me. Severus Snape. Snape. It has to be precise, Snape. like tick, tick. Snape. Snape. Severus Snape. 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 Severus Snape. Dumbledore Snape. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> I'm Brittany, intern, and welcome back to My Hero Academia uh, English Sub Reactions. If you're looking for dub, link is below to the playlist for dub, where you guys will be joining Alex and Christy for those reactions. I'm scared. Brianna's not with us today. It is Saturday, because we couldn't wait. And Brianna is up in LA right now meeting Blind Wave, so that's fun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we are definitely terrified. Scared. Especially worried for all night. Yes. I have predictions for what's gonna happen, but I don't. Huh? Why didn't you say them last time? No, I have a prediction now for what's gonna happen because I've been Based thinking about it. Oh. Because uh, I've been think I had time to think. I had a whole fucking week to <laughs> I had think. A whole week to think about this. What's your prediction? I just want to hear it. I think all night's gonna die. Already? Yeah, I think that's no. What it's going I think to it's happen. too soon. That's what you think, and then they do bullshit, and you're like, holy fuck, he did! And I, I don't want it to happen, but <laughs> it is going to be bad. I don't want it to happen, but it's going to happen. But we don't know if it's going to happen. We don't know. That's just what my worry is. And, like, a lot of people, like, were asking, like, what did we think about Best Gene? It's like, he died, right? Like, We think he did, I, but... I there's no way with that shot. Hey, there's no life in his eyes anymore. I'm pretty sure he's dead, which I'm really sad about because he's my favorite non-main, like, pro hero. We've discussed this. My my, my love for best gene is just because it's genes and it's beautiful. But Not just that. Uh, I actually didn't like him at first. I didn't care. For, not that I didn't like him. I didn't care for him because he was, like, irrelevant to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't get his point. I didn't get his quirk. But, like, you get to know his personality and you're like, this is... A hero. This is what heroes should be. Like he yeah, and he's genuinely like, Guys, saved them. Mm -hmm. I, I realized how his quirk worked at mm -hmm. that point. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really. Oh my god, I love him now. And like, I even gained some respect for Mount Lady because she's like, the kids come first. She like grew in size and like head butted uh, them trying to get Bobby oh, yeah. Joe back again. So <sighs> she got back in our good graces. Yeah, she's back in our good graces. Oh man, oh man, I'm scared. I'm actually. Let's really just scared. get into All it. All right, this is My Hero Academia, season three, episode eleven. One one eleven. Yeah, but what's the title? We don't know. We don't remember. We never remember. Well, it, it'll show. It'll me. be in the title. Look at you guys! Oh my. I got goosebumps, dude. I did too. <laughs> Look at that. She looks beautiful, by the way. Are we both so nervous that we're like... <laughs> I'm Silent trying to... During the t <laughs> I'm like trying to... <sighs> I've been crying since the very beginning of this fucking episode. Non-stop. <laughs> I knew he was talking to Deku at that point too. You always pull your hand away way too fast. Cause I have. I know, no but you have to circulation. slowly do it. I it was... almost broke my fingers. I couldn't open them fast enough before you I pulled away. I could feel them for like a solid 15 minutes. Doesn't matter. You open them slowly because <gasps> it almost broke me. <laughs> it hurt really bad. My God. I think it didn't hit me yet, actually. What? His... <sighs> that he's done? Yeah, no, the emotions haven't hit me. I'm just like, in shock still. <sighs> it never looks pissed. End of the beginning, beginning of the end. I want to be happy that he didn't die. 
This feels much worse. It, feel, it feels pretty bad. It, it feels bad. Like, it ended the way we kind of wanted it to, but it just doesn't feel good. No. It's the best alternative to death, but it's still not good. Just because, like... like I, like, I get it, all the civilians are happy that he defeated him, but... But no one else understands, like, the What the depth, fuck just happened. The depth of All Might's done. He really is a symbol. My god. He exceeded his limit so much. I think he still needs but to But All be for like, One isn't dead. I don't know, he's just in fucking jail. You know what that means. I don't have to worry about Tamara. He's gonna get out. Hope fucking not. Hope is all good and well, but it won't do shit. MVP of this episode is definitely All Might and oh. Nana. Mainly All Might. Mainly All Might. Nana was beautiful. Like, I got mad when, like, All For One was talking about, like, her, it's like, oh, she died in such a pathetic way. Like, I was a like... How did I, she die? Did, did we ever find out? I don't know. I don't remember them saying how she died. I don't know if they mentioned it already. I assume trying to fight all for one. But... Uh -huh. We will have to wait and see, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no. All Might, definitely. We did MVP. see some character development for Kachan, for sure. Hell yeah. Like Like he was rooting for All, all Might, Might, which is and like, like he was weird. very observant of Deku throughout the whole thing, but he wasn't like angry or judging. Yeah, he didn't like make fun of him or anything the way we saw in the very first season. Yeah, you know, like, like he when was he's like, crying he wasn't automatically like, dude, stop fucking crying, like do na na like That's he, not what he would say. Would he like, wouldn't say it like that, but he was like, more jump like, off a building. <laughs> that's, that's what he that's what he did in the first That's what episode. he did, but he's grown a lot. Yeah. He definitely has. Like he actually looked Concern. Wait. Wait. What? Realize it. A little bit of realization. Two things, actually. Sure. One. Uh -huh. So you know how the filming crew was filming everything and they saw All Might in his like lowered form? Yeah. Did they also catch? Can they also catch the sound? Did they hear all uh, one for all or all for one saying that Deku was the next All Might? Did they hear that he transferred his quirk to Deku because he said it pretty loud? And I don't know if the I camera think, caught sound. N no, I think the helicopter camera didn't get sound. It was just like but there was, visual. There was, there was ground cameras too. Nope, there wasn't ground cameras well, but until you, after everything. But if you rewind it, you don't have to right now. But if you do, there was a part where it's like right after he defeated All for One, and he puts his fist up. The camera angle is from the ground, not from up high. Wait, right there. Click That's button. not the ground. That's no, 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 wait, click there. Then, no, the helicopter cameras just got, like, the video, and then it wasn't until he was on the ground that they had audio. Okay, other thing. I loved that his biggest, most violent punch was United States of Smash. Because, <laughs> you know, it's been building up to this, you know? Del Delaware Smash, Texas, Texas Smash... Smash. United Baltimore. States of Smash. Oh no, Deku is Detroit. Oh yeah. Deku only names cities. <laughs> Deku likes to name cities. <laughs> All Might's the states. You know, he's holding up to the states, you know? And then later, like All Might, he's gonna build up to a uh, country. Well, he did the country, now he's done. <sighs> uh, maybe that was a symbol, actually. The United States of Smash, he's done everything. I don't think it was done. ever made clear. Like, I've heard, like, Endeavor say a few things, but is All Might in this depiction, is he American or is he Japanese? Pretty sure he's Japanese. He just likes America. The only, <laughs> the, the only reason I was confused, because I think it was either dub or sub, but Endeavor is like, what is that American guy? Like, he said something like, it's like, it's like what is this Union Bus Star Spangled? Like, I don't know, he's made something I, like... I think it was a joke because he wears red, white, and blue. Right, but he keeps but, naming off, like, maybe he's just like, I don't know, like, he's, 
I, I think he is Japanese. He's just like mirroring, you know, symbolizing freedom. I don't know. Let us know, because that's always confused me. Like, is he American or is he Japanese? And he's just like basing a lot of his stuff on like American culture. I don't know. I don't know. I could be I wrong. I think he's just basing it on American culture. His name is pretty, is Japanese too. Toshinori. No, that's not what I mean. Like, well, you think he's like what? No, I'm not saying his name, but like, I just want to know where he's from because like Endeavor mentioned something about him being like. I don't think he flat out said he was American. I'm pretty sure all the characters in here are Japanese. I'm not talking about like anime or anything. Obviously, anime comes from Japan, but like. Yeah. For example, in, I know in, um, oh my god, Attack on Titan, it's, like, you know what they're, like, ethnicity, what is that ethnic, no, 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 you, mm. in Attack on Titan, there's Nationality. a character, nationality, there's one character that specifically, she's the last American, uh -huh. I haven't I watched watch Attack on Titan, but Brianna told me that about some of the characters, Have and, you never watched it? No, never watched it. I I've seen, it like, it really good. I heard it was good too. I just haven't had the time, and like I asked Brianna about it, and she's like, "Yeah, there's one character who's supposed to be the last American on Earth." Or I don't get on why, Earth. but like, Whoa. I don't know what the show's about. But that's what I heard. <laughs> Whoa. I could be wrong, and I may be like misconstruing everything, but that's what I heard. So I'm like curious, like, okay, so is all my like American, and he moved to Japan, and he like stayed there for a while, or just... it doesn't matter to me. I that was just something I was curious about because he keeps listing off like United States areas as he punches shit. So it's like, okay, I just wanted to know. But it's not going to hurt my feelings regardless, you know? I was just something curious about that. <sighs> and, like, I'm glad that they saved Bakugo. And, like, I feel like he's going to walk away a changed person. I just love Kirishima's response to him. Like, he's just so used to Bakugo being, like, so, like, defensive about being saved and being protected mm -hmm. or whatever. It's, it's like, like you guys goes, didn't save me, you were the best decision. option. <laughs> He's like, you guys didn't save me. You were the best option to get out. And it's like, that's actually high praise coming from Bakugo. Because before he would have said something like, I could have done it all by myself. But in this one, it's more like a... You were an option. You were an option. Like, you, you, were the, you were the best way for me to get out of there. You didn't rescue me. I knew you'd come and this shit happened. Well, no. He probably uh, viewed it as he rescued himself because he was the one who blew himself into the air to grab their hand. They yeah. were just there. But he didn't discredit them. Yes. He didn't... If it was, like, older ba like, if it was really, like, talking season one Bakugo, he would have been like, I could have got out myself, I could have done this, I didn't need you guys, but he didn't say that. Okay. It's, like, little things in his words that you realize, like, okay, he's changing. Like, he didn't, he didn't deny that he needed rescuing, but he won't admit it, but it's also, like, he's not going to discredit them at the same time. Yes. And, like, I think Best Genius is alive. Okay, after, like, Kamui, like, saved them, and, like, he got, um, Mount Lady and everything, like, please be alive. Where were we? We just started, I think I'm just a sucker for Bakugo's, like, looks this episode. Because he didn't seem, like, hostile. Growing. Like, at Deku, he was crying at the end. Like, he looked so concerned. And the sweat when he was, like, when he actually thought All Might might be compromised. That was pretty good. It wasn't good. anger. It was actual stress. <laughs> and, and... What's the word? What's the word? Hold on. Hold on. It's, it'll come to me. He, it was concern. Yes. <laughs> the word, I can't think of words lately. Mm -hmm. Like, I was talking to Nikki yesterday, uh -huh. and I was telling her, you know, I'm pretty needy. Like, I need reassurance or confirmation, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Like, I need... It's not reassurance. It's, it's something with an R. I need to be... Um, responsive? No. Like, I need... Like, I need to... <laughs> I need to be... I need to know that I'm not doing something wrong. Reassured? Reassured. Did I already say that? Yes, you did. I, I don't think that's the word. <laughs> Is it? Yes, that's need, the word for it. Reassured. I need... Justification. Uh-huh. Like, that kind of thing. Like, I need to be justified. Like, I need someone else to justify... Me. You need someone else to reassure that you are not doing that. <laughs> or, like, justify just everything I do. Like, did I do Did I do good? Great, tell me. <laughs> did I do bad? Not great, tell me. <laughs> like, like, I need to be told. You know what I mean? 
reassured. It's not always <laughs> reassured. I need to be. I need justification. I need, need the confirmation. Clarification. What? Confirmation? Yeah, you need confirmation. I need confirmation. That's the word. <laughs> it doesn't start with an R. It has an R in it, though. All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> this episode Sorry. of My Hero. Did Amazing. Us dirty. It did us real dirty. Is that how you would use that? That statement. What? That they phrase. Did us dirty? Yeah, they did us dirty. They did they, us wrong. They did us wrong. But like, would this be the right situation to use it in? Yeah. I'm gonna tweet it then. Okay. <laughs> I want it. I want it to be justified that it was an okay phrase to say. Oh my god. You're ridiculous. <laughs> Let's keep talking about just my hero right now. Okay. I late. Um, oh, that one lady that was a model, she's actually doing hero work. Yeah, what the fuck? What was her name? I saw the snakes, I'm like, oh god. What All was her my... quirk? What? What was her quirk? I don't know. It looked like just the snake things, because they were in her hair. But I don't think that's it. I don't know what her quirk is. We never got to see it. Or at least I didn't see it. I didn't She was just modeling when they were on their internships. Yeah. But also, I don't... I wonder if I just made this up, or if I actually saw this somewhere, but people are shipping Mount Lady and Kamui Woods. Kamui. Kamui? I saw that one. Yeah, okay, good. I didn't make it up, thank god. <laughs> it, I really like it. I kinda like it, and I like the way like he saved her in that one-liner he gave her, what was it? Something like... I already forgot what it was. He said something to her. Mm. He said, you did good, or something like that. I just really... I started shipping them this episode, for the first time ever. I, I, nah, I don't know. I can't. Also, okay. also, Alex told me that they actually, like, based Kamui Woods' character off Spider-Man, which excites me, because Spider-Man's my favorite hero. Oh, like his, like, technique and stuff? Like, just his, just the character himself. Like, his, his personality and his, like, quirk, the way he moves around and what he actually does, like, tie up villains. The way Spider-Man would time up with his webs. Mm -hmm. And his just personality is really great. And I love it. Like, dorky. He told me that, too. Like, someone told him that. I'm like, that's great. It's pretty Give me another amazing. incentive to love Kamui Woods. <laughs> How old is he? Is he supposed to be, like, new to the hero scene, too? He's a rookie, yeah. Yeah, he's a rookie. Him and Mount Lady are oh. both rookies. Just like Peter Park. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is he who? He's slowly becoming my favorite hero. <laughs> Best genus all the way, man. Kamui Woods all the way, man. <laughs> Alright, bro. Uh, Ooh. What? If you had to ship a hero with a villain. Or like, an, I want a bro TP and an OTP. Who would you do? I think we discussed this before. I, hero I ship and villain? Oh. I said hero and it villain. It has to be a hero and yeah, villain? Yeah, it has to be a hero and villain half and half. And it has to be a bro TP and an OTP. Even if it's not canon. I just want to know who would you, like, think would be cool. I don't ship anyone cross-dimensionally like that, so it's hard for me to give an answer. Okay. Bro TP. I would like... The oh my god, one. okay, okay, the bro TP, I do think, like, it'll never happen probably, but a bro TP... With a hero and a villain, which obviously won't happen based on their personalities and who they want. But I just think it'd be funny to have Twice and Aizawa stuck in a room together. God damn Because <laughs> Aizawa... Because Twice would like go through his personalities and Aizawa's like, I'm totally done with your shit. I just think that'd be hilarious. Probably never happened. It's not canon or anything. Like, But their it, personalities are so opposite, it would be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, I support that. I'm thinking of Brosy Peas, there's so many possibilities. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah. I really want a st Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. I want Stain. Oh, that's not who I thought you were going for. I Go know ahead. who you thought I was going for. <laughs> um, I kind of want to see Stain in Endeavor. I, I feel like Stain would get under Endeavor's skin they real quick. They would both quick. get under each other's skin. But it's that kind of friendship where, like, you can They're not going to be friends. I know it's not actually going to happen. But if it were, they would be that bro TP that always, like, disses each other to the point where it's almost like, how are you even friends? But they will, like, stand up for each other if it comes down to it. You know what I mean? 
I don't never get to that point. Well, Based on their personalities, it'll never get well, to that point. I know, neither would Twice I'm, or Aizawa. No, just... but like, I didn't even say it like that. They wouldn't be friends. I just want to see them locked in a yes. room together. <laughs> yes, I feel like that would be fun. Have seeing Stain and Endeavor locked in the same room together, that'd be hilarious. Mm-hmm. What about Dobby and Endeavor? <laughs> Son? Son? <laughs> Father? Father? I still believe in that theory. I want that theory to come true. I heard... Nope. No, no, no. It's not a spoiler. But I heard that they address it in the new manga. Kind of. Low-key. I don't know what it what it says or what it does, but I heard they start addressing it. I want it to be canon. I want it to be canon. That How many are Dobby... there together? Mangas? For it? The new know. one just came out. Brianna was telling me it came out in Japan, so it takes a while for it to actually come out here in dub. Mm -hmm. But I think I saw it at Barnes & Noble. But I don't know if it's the newest one. But I'll check. There's like a lot. But they're pretty quick reads. So. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm excited to actually find out. I Ooh. think we're going to reach the end of the arc after this, too, so I like that shot. Like, Endeavor, Did you the out? room was on fire. What? <laughs> the room was on fire. It was. Like, uh, Todoroki opened the door, and he's just, like, breathing heavily. There's fire. He looked oh, pissed. Oh, for the preview? Yes. Yes. Although, Young Endeavor was pretty cool to see. I didn't think I'd see a Young Endeavor. Like, God damn. <laughs> Whoa, well, that's hot in there. No, that's not what I meant. Like, no, no not like he was that. on fire. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> he it, was, like... it was surprise. I'm like, oh god, da we got a young endeavor. We got a young all might. Why did a... you get an accent for that? <laughs> we got a young endeavor here. You sound like hey, a Brooklyn employee. We got a young employee. endeavor here. We got ourselves a young all might, and uh, we got ourselves you know to the seventy uh, success. Darling, darling, young endeavor. <laughs> what? I was trying to do Edna Mode, but it didn't work. <laughs> She just says darling a lot. She drags it out like this, darling. That's not even close either. Nope. Sorry, you had a thought. Go ahead. What was my thought? <laughs> I don't remember. It was right before I brought up Endeavor. Oh, I was just wondering, did you ever find out if that movie that you found online was the actual movie that's supposed to come out in August? No. Okay. I don't think it's out yet, but anyway. I, don't, I was just not wondering. Out. But it's supposed to be, it's supposed to have the young heroes in it. Like, no, no, no. It's gonna have, because we saw the trailer, it's gonna have, like, our students that we know now, but it's also gonna have a lot of flashbacks, which I'm ready for. I'm ready for that. And I'm also, um, aware that there will be more Todoroki flashbacks, which I'm excited for as well, because Todoroki is my number one favorite student that I have met so far. I know Bakugo is yours. Yeah. And Deku. There, I have three-way tie. Okay, <laughs> you have your three-way tie. I have my number one Todoroki. I have a three-way tie. Todoroki, Bakugo, Deku. Except Kirishima and Tetsu Tetsu are climbing up that ladder. And Shinso is always going to be there. Tetsu Tetsu, 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 Tetsu is great. I Tetsu, 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 And also Kendo is climbing up too. My God. Oh yeah, Damn Kendo me. is like one of my favorite females mm -hmm. on the show. Um, her, I really ship her and Tetsu Tetsu. They need to be a thing. Thing they are bro TP, OTP, they're every TP. Toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> they're every toilet paper. You gotta wrap that shit up. And send it to and send it and make it a ship and let it sail. Ooh. That would have been smoother up. if you would have I know, said that I know, moment. I couldn't think of it right away. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I I knew it was coming. Wrap <sighs> it up in the shape of a ship. And let it sail. Still not funny. We're gonna ship it <laughs> FedEx style. <laughs> FedEx style. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I know it was. Oh. UPS? TP in the UPS. Every TP. UPS style. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> stop before we butcher this. Already done. But comment below what you guys thought of this episode. What did you think? Your emotions. Which and hero and villain would you like locked up in a room together? Not like a ship or anything, but just who do you think would be entertaining and hilarious? Or bro TP. Yeah. I really like the idea of a bro TP between heroes and villains. Which, It'll never happen. No, I know, but there's like the villains that are like... Like that have morals. You know? None of them have good morals! Not good morals, but some morals. Stain had some morals. 
He's not a good character. Like, he's not like a. No, he's still a villain. But he had some good morals. Some. No. I think, like, him and All Might would definitely get along in a room. No, they would get along. He loves All Might. He loves All Might, but he wants to kill him. Spinner would love All Might. No, No, they they want. He said All Might is the only one that he wouldn't like. That's what I said. What? All Might would kill him. Oh, All Might would kill him. I thought they are super against killing. Okay, fine. He wouldn't kill him, but he would beat him to a fucking bulb, and Stan would be like, yes, you are worthy to kill me. But like, I All Might won't do it. I feel like if they were stuck in a room together, they would just chill out and talk. Because, like, he wouldn't attack him unless he got attacked, too. You know? No. And they're locked in a room, so he doesn't All have Might... to stop him from anything. But the thing is, Stan has already, like, pulled up, like, he started, like, inspired those people to join the League of Villains because they thought Stan was gonna be there, and, like, inspired all this Spinner. hatred. Yeah, exactly. Spinner he inspired all of them. Spinner just took it. Yes, he did. They all came out of the woodwork because of Stain. He's such a role model. Exactly, so All Might would want to stop him because you take out the role model, you take out them. You'd make a martyr out of them then. Yeah, but still. That's just as bad. They wouldn't, they, they wouldn't be friends. Anyway, to end this video, comment below what you guys thought. Fine, do the whole bro TP thing, you lock him up in a room. What two characters, a hero and a villain, would you like to see interact with each other? And no spoilers, so don't give us like people we haven't met yet. Yeah, that's true. And then, <laughs> what are your predictions for next episode? It looks... We're, I, I feel like we're wrapping up this arc, and then I'm curious to see what arc we're going to get into next time. I hope we get more episodes, because I don't know if this show is... Like, this season three is about to end. Well, hope you know... Not. What they were doing at camp is they were preparing them to get their licenses, right? Isn't that what they said? In the first two seasons. In the first two seasons? Like, they mentioned there being a hero license that you need in order to fight. Yes. Yes, and then they mentioned that after the um, Hosu incident, that they needed to work on that in case something like that ever happens again. After the Hosu incident? It was either after that or right after the camping incident that they actually mentioned it. No, I know what episode you're talking about. You're talking about... Go to Hulu. Hmm. Work as heroes. Told you. But it's good that we got, like... I got confirmation so then we could be like, Yes, they said it in the second episode of season mm-hmm. three. So I'm thinking that's what the next arc might be. It might be like them going into... Because now they have all the students together, right? So now mm-hmm. it might be just like... But are they going to get their provisional licenses? Because they technically didn't finish their training. I don't think camp. they're... Go- I think that's what the next arc is going to center around. Them like finishing them their training and getting working their license? On it, yeah. Their provisional licenses? Mm-hmm. That'd be interesting. Because they still have plenty... Th- I mean... Not that much, but like they do have a lot that they still need to complete before they can actually get their licenses. But their provisional licenses at least grant them stuff. Like if if they end up in a situation that's dangerous, like yeah. they keep doing, they have that granted permission of like, okay, you use your quirk to get at the situation, mm-hmm. but nothing more. So I think they're not going to give them the full right. Like, oh yeah, you do hero oh, work. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you do this. But it's know. more like. They can defend themselves to get out of the situation until they can find a pro or get help or get out. And that's what like. I'm glad we actually found it because um, they said something which I totally forgot. They were saying that this is something you would normally get in your second year and they're trying to get it to them before they even enter second year. So it's something they're supposed to get by the end but they're trying to get it in the beginning which means they're cramming a lot into this little amount of time. Mm -hmm. So that means it's going to be a lot of stuff. A lot of exciting stuff. So the next arc better be the licenses. <laughs> yeah, and I hope that like we get to focus more, because I really liked the camp arc, just because mm-hmm. it's like, you got to see them work on their quirk and enhance themselves. Like, and on each other. Exactly. Like, they work on themselves a little bit. And I want them to be able to grow. Like, they said that with uh, Todoroki's training, he can use both flame and ice at the same time. Mm-hmm. With Kaminari, he could be able to use his quirk without shorting out his brain. And there's a bunch of other stuff that's like... I don't like, remember any of that. That's crazy. Yeah, and like... Wait, what else, What did they say about um, Deku exercising his quirk? 
being able to use like best that Tiger knew about without knowing like it was him and all my like be able to not break his bone like training his body so to withstand like, more pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, or more percentage of all one for all. But to their knowledge, it would be his body being able to obtain more durability. I guess. Yes. What? Okay. I like that. I think Loki. Aizawa might know? Oh no, well, Aizawa probably, doesn't know. I, I think he might suspect Has something, it, though. Yeah. Because he knows All Might's true form, and I think, to an extent, he knows where All Might came from, mm -hmm. like his origin. He, he kind of seems like it, because in that first season, remember when they were um, practicing? Yeah. Like, Aizawa noticed that, um, what, what was it called? All Might and Deku had like a special kind of connection. Yeah, he noticed so it. So he definitely, I think he definitely might suspect that it's a thing. So I think for that one, Aizawa pretty much told Tiger, like, hey, this is the training regimen he needs. <laughs> this is what needs to happen. Um, what about Momo? What did they want her to. Th for her, it wasn't really her quirk usage, it's just more thinking on her feet. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool, actually. Yeah. Okay. That's what that's our prediction for the next arc, hopefully. Yeah, and I hope because I don't know, I honestly don't remember how many episodes was confirmed for season three. Um, Did they confirm a number? I don't remember. <laughs> or at least I haven't seen a number. So I'm hoping it's gonna be like season two where we get two separate like arcs. It should be. That's what. That isn't that how the first season was too. First season one is only thirteen episodes, I think. Season two is uh, technically like twenty or twenty two or something like you're that. Right. You're right. So, like, I'm hoping, like, we get another, like, 13 episodes, because that'd be great. Uh-huh. But I'm not sure. Especially with the movie coming out, I'm not sure while they're, well, like... even if we do have two arcs, which I think we will. Uh-huh. Pretty sure it was confirmed that there were two arcs. But, um, I, it's gonna end before August anyway. So. Yeah. We have plenty of time to recuperate from the season, and then get ready for the movie, and then, who knows what's gonna Wait happen. for the season to come back again. Which... By the way, we saw the trailer for the movie, and all of them were wearing suits, and I was living for it. I already they look so great! Yeah. I, I can't wait for this movie. I want to know. I want to see it. I love bow ties. And I really love red. Yeah. Red's a good color. <laughs> Red's a good color for, like, suits. If you guys want to talk about the movie, too, comment below what your predictions are. If we're missing something, like, plot line-wise. I don't mind knowing plot, just not major, like, spoilers, like, oh, in this part, this happens. Or this character dies. Are or you guys something. reacting to the movie? Like, I doubt it. it. Okay. I doubt it. I think... Like, you're not going to do a review of it afterwards? Oh, well, absolutely. Okay, yeah. That's we're different from a reaction. Because, okay. <laughs> like, we want to go see it in the theaters, like yeah, how yeah. we saw with the other, like, major anime, like, movies. Mm-hmm. Which, Brianna will be in Texas for that, so she's going to see it there. But it comes can... out August, like, 1st or 3rd? In the... I think it was in the beginning of August. I don't remember when. But she said that it was, that she was going to be seeing it in Texas. So, oh. For RTX. I need to look at the fucking dates. I am lost. Yeah, I have no idea when anything comes out. But yeah. I know The Nun comes out September 7th. We are not talking about The Nun. We're talking yeah. about my hero. But you're going to that. I know. <laughs> Yay. Comment below what you guys thought of this episode, what you think, and what are your predictions for next episode, theories for those of you who watch anime only. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we will see you guys next time.